Are you looking for a great vegetarian recipe for dinner tonight? If you are, you've come to the right place. Today, I'm making a mushroom lentil soup that's super hearty, great for the fall, great for dinner, great for lunches, just plain great. Start off by dicing up some vegetables. I have five small carrots. If you have large carrots, try two. These are pretty thin at the bottom, so I'm just gonna cut them across here. When you get to the thicker part, you can quarter them and then dice that. That results in about a quarter inch dice. Very technical. That results in a quarter inch dice. Then mince four cloves of garlic. And then dice one red onion. One red onion. We don't use red onion that much. They have a slightly milder flavor, I think. But if you can't get a red onion, you have a regular onion, please feel free to use that. I kind of feel like they're interchangeable. We use them for slightly different purposes, but in general, if you can't get your hands on one or you don't feel like going shopping, you can always use another one. That's most of your veg prep. You just have to prep the mushrooms, but you can do that while you're sauteing this stuff. So heat a pot over medium high heat and add a couple tablespoons of oil, olive oil, and then you're just gonna saute your veg right in here. Add your veg. Everything can go in at the same time. So the onion, garlic, and carrots all at the same time. These need to saute just so the onion is translucent. The veg have softened slightly, about six minutes. During that time, if you want to ABP and always be prepping, you can get your mushrooms ready. You need 12 ounces of mushrooms, three quarters of a pound. Wipe your mushrooms clean and then coarsely chop them. Don't let them fall all over the place. Let's see, will I do this? Does this work for this? Yeah, line them up and then just chop right down the whole line up. Just to start, instead of doing one at a time, this saves a little bit of time. It's like a little assembly line, a mushroom chopping assembly line. Trim the bottoms, make sure you do that. Line them up. Do you think you're, you're not saving time because you're spending all that time lining them up? I don't know. If you wanted to, you could chop your mushrooms in a food processor, but I have a tendency not to use my food processor unless I'm chopping lots of stuff in it because I don't like to wash my food processor. Yeah, now you know. I wouldn't call it lazy so much as, you know, efficient with my time. But I also chop really fast and not everybody chops that fast. So maybe you save more time by using your food processor. I don't know. And also, I do not have a dishwasher and you might have one. They can go in with the softened vegetables. So much mushrooms, it's gonna be really mushroomy. Saute the mushrooms with the veg and we're using water and not broth. So it is a vegetarian dinner, which is awesome because I know lots of people are trying to eat more vegetarian, including me. Now you wanna cook this until the mushrooms have softened and turned a little bit golden. That can take up to eight minutes, it depends on your stove. Could take longer on your stove. We have hot stoves here. Everything seems nice and cooked down. Now you can add your lentils. Not quite a whole bag. Nine sprigs of thyme, approximately. Stir that around. I wanna season that with a little bit of salt. I meant to season my vegetables while I was sauteing them, but now is just as good as time. Don't over season. This is gonna get seasoned at the end with soy sauce. She says, adding at least a teaspoon of salt. That was probably about a teaspoon. And then seven cups of water. Bring it to a boil, reduce it to a simmer and cook it partially covered until the lentils are tender. That should take about 25 minutes. 25 minutes later, dinner is ready. It smells fantastic. I'd remove the thyme sprigs. You don't wanna be eating sticks for dinner. See, all the thyme has come off and just the stem is left. You're not required to use your fingers. <laughs> I just like to live life on the edge. Once the thyme is removed, season with a little bit of soy sauce, maybe a tablespoon or two. In vegetarian dishes, it's sometimes nice to add a little bit more depth of flavor. That's what the soy sauce is doing here. I'm gonna taste it before I add more salt because, well, you know me, I don't want it too salty. Ah, guys. Hmm, it's good. I don't think it needs more salt, but it could use some pepper. Now my tongue is burnt and I can't taste anything else for the rest of the day. 
There you have it, it's really simple. Only four ingredients to prep. So good. Serve yourself up a nice big steaming bowl and make sure that you save some for lunch tomorrow if there are any leftovers because it's great to take to work. Reheats beautifully. Nice tangy dollop of yogurt to balance out all that depth of flavor and umami. All right, cold weather, bring it on. I got my warm, cozy soup to counteract everything that you have to throw my way. And it only took 35 minutes. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.